So, pollution standards. We'll activate the pollution standards and see how that goes. And if it starts costing us too much money, I guess we'll just fucking revoke it. Because we can always do that. We can always just revoke it. Now you get 95% of the votes. Fuck you, environmentalists. You, you barely have any of the population. The pure affection of El Presidente is enough. There is no need for fraud. As it should be. With our pollution standards increasing, we should actually be gaining more with the environmentalists. Theoretically. Uh, are not. They, they're still pretty pissed at us. Is there anything else I can do then for stopping the pollution? No. I guess not. I guess that's the our only real way of combating pollution is to initiate pollution standards. Congratulations, Fucking hell. President. Who the fuck were the nine elections. people that voted against me? Is there a way for me to actually find those assholes? Because I want them exiled from this fucking island. That's all I'm saying. They need to get out of here. They don't belong. Jeez. What the fu who the fuck do those nine people think they are? Nine people out of the hundreds voted against me. And those people, we just call them assholes. Because that's exactly what they are. They're just assholes. So I've issued higher pollution standards on the island to hopefully appeal these guys. It's going to take some time, I think, for, for it actually affects or, you know, takes full effect. But I'm hoping it'll help. Hoping being the big word there. I'm not actually sure if it will. President Day, you're up. Has taken serious Europe's actions are unjust. I'd rather keep the U.S. on my side and help pay them back for the money they loaned me there. The money that went right into my bank account rather than, you know, to helping this island. Because that's how we roll. We are improving this thing. Ugh, our economy is suffering hard, though. I'm hoping we're improving it. It's, according to this, we're not. But I don't see any way, any way to reduce the, um, the eco level any further. Or to increase the eco level. It's literally impossible. At least to my knowledge. I'm assuming, maybe there's something under general that we could do. I mean, nuclear testing. I, I don't think that will help, honestly. If we did nuclear testing. Because it'll lower them. Yeah, the only thing we can do is um, pollution standards. That's literally the only thing we can Peace do. Peace and love, Presidente. My fellow environmentalists have... Oh, hey, they actually protest. gave up. Okay. They're simply tired. Okay, so we waited out. So we waited them out, and they actually just decided to give up. Okay, so just a reference for future governments. If you ever want to fuck your people over or enforce high acts of slavery, remember, just let them protest and then don't do anything. Because they'll ne they won't act violently, obviously. And you'll just win. That's how it works. And they'll, they'll just give up. Take a look at these charts, Presidente. The pie-shaped one is my favorite. I'm aware about the sinking GTP. And I, I know it's a problem. Mostly because of the protest, but I think that's about to... Oh, are you fucking kidding me? Well, this is the last thing we needed. And we only got $8,000 from the fucking corpse for this. That is so BS. I gotta rebuild the garage, the garage because that's, that's a critical structure. Just as we were starting to recover the economy, of course, God himself... We just sided with you, God! Why, why are you so pissed? We, we even excited with the environment... With not the environmentalists, with the religious people. Jeez, is there nothing we can do to appease you? Seriously. Well, I think we only lost two buildings from that. I think a few of them might have been damaged, but I only saw two that needed direct repair. So we actually got out pretty okay with that. Which is good. What else can we go with? Um, we can't afford Christ the Savior yet. I think we have to recover our economy a little bit more before that can be a thing. U.S. is pretty pissed with us. What do we do to them? We just fucking help their asses. Yeah, what the hell, U.S.? Why, why are you so angry with us? Gosh, what the fuck, man? We just totally bailed you out. We bailed you the fuck out for the Europe thing, and this is how you repay us? What a bunch of cunts. 
It's looking at the people going down the street. Anyhow, what I was saying is we could use this side of the street here actually for entertainment, but we don't have the money to do that right now, so I'm going to hold off on expanding entertainment until at least the houses get rebuilt. I said that's a high priority because... Oh, this garage got destroyed. Okay, that would explain a lot too. And unfortunately, that could cause some severe issues for our economy because I had no idea that was a thing. And that should be our top, pro top, tip top priority. This and this should be our tip top priorities. Get them all up. We need them up quickly. Because otherwise, we're going to start suffering economically from people not able to get to work. And then we're going to have increased crime rates because people don't have housing and they're going to be like stealing and stuff in the streets. So we need to fix this problem, especially back here, because that's, like, literally right next to my house. So I ain't, I ain't tolerating that shit. Luckily, the police station is controlling most of the crime, save for what's going on down here. Build a bank. There is an opportunity here that can make us all rich. Okay, so we, we'll accept that as a quest. Oh, are you the fucking kidding me? The rebels... Come on, Rebels. What the fuck, guys? Seriously? What the fuck? Luckily, this is about to be a big shipment here. Once this thing gets loaded into the ship, it's gonna be the big bucks. I'm hoping. If we ever get a worker down here to actually work and load the ship, that is. Which might not happen because of, um... The freaking housing districts being destroyed. And all the other things just being totally ruined. Yeah, that boosted us pretty high. I think we might actually be able to afford Christ the Savior now. now that's going to be under attractions, I think. No, it's going to be under landmarks. Christ the Savior, $45,000. Um, where can we put Christ the Savior? Where should we put Christ the Savior? We could put Christ the Savior, just have him hang out by the cathedral over here. <laughs> he could just be hanging out behind the school so that the preschoolers know that Jesus is watching. Oh, God. Should we do that? That'd be amazing. Yeah, there we go. We'll put them right there. So it's kind of near the cathedral, but also staring at the school. I mean, that way, like, when you, when they're in class over here, like, wanting to cheat on the test, they'll look out the window and Christ the Savior will just be staring at them. Oh, crap. We're at 80, only $8,000. Oh, that's not good. Oh, we just got financial aid, so that kind of saves us a bit. We need to get another export out quickly, though. Otherwise, we're going to have some problems. Kind of like how we had problems the last time we built Christ the Savior. Luckily, I think we are bringing in the big bucks still. And we got plenty of nice production going on here. We got tons of output. So even if we go slightly into financial debt for a little, I think it won't last that long. Oh, fuck. Lamas, Presidente. Your life is in danger. Oh, no. Hire a more qualified assassin to send him after this one. <laughs> Tell the secret police to prepare my lookalike. He will take care of the problem. A success chance 34%. Gain respect with all factions. Torture the assassin and... Make him testify that USSR sent him. Lose respect with the USSR, gain respect with the capitalist. Thanks for the report. I will be in my palace for the next six months. Uh, fuck. Uh. It's only a 34% freaking chance. That's not good. That's not a good chance. Uh, I don't want to torture him and send him to testify that the USSR sent him. Well, that will, because we have the USSR as our close allies. Uh, $2,000 is a lot, considering I'm very close to debt. Um, fuck. I guess I'll just take being in the, um... I'll just take being stuck in the palace. Presidente, I can't keep up with the expenses of my wives. Um, uh, what? You already have too much cattle. I am not fucking lowering my weapon prices. They are the biggest thing holding my economy together right now, you bastard. I get it, I get it, okay? I get it. Islam needs its guns. Okay, I get it. But you're not getting them from me if that's if you're expecting a super low price. Sorry, it's just how, how it works. We are very close to the red. We need a ship to come in, like, right now.
We desperately need a ship. Okay, here comes a ship. Now, this ship needs to be loaded to get us out of the red. That is absolutely a requirement, because we are now in the red. Come on, push us over. Okay, yes, that pushed us over. And we are actually loading the ship up. We are making a decent quantity of money. Oh. This time, it's the nationalists against the loyalist Presidente. They keep arguing about whether a nuclear program is more important than a mausoleum for your own glorious persona. The nationalists have this ridiculous idea about securing our independence with our very own nuclear program. The loyalists are quite white, right when they say that our nation is something even more important to preserve. Yourself, Presidente. Mausoleum will secure your afterlife, which is much more important than minor issues like national security. Honestly, I don't see why the nationalists and loyalists are opposed to each other. Because nationalism and loyalism, or loyalty, seem to go hand in hand in most political systems. So, I, I don't see the difference, but I'm going to have a look, see at the um, Almanac here, and have a see which faction's more prominent, because that's the one I want to side with. Loyalists are... Uh, they make up 21 supporters. Nationalists make up 30. So, by amount of supporters, the nationalists support us more. Um, so that might work. Unfortunately, we're going to piss off the Loyalists by doing this, which would be really fucking bad for us. Hmm. Then we have to consider what's easier to build, a mausoleum or a nuclear program. I'm not sure... What does a nuclear program require? I need to actually... I can't actually see what the nuclear program requires. I don't know if it requires, like, electricity or something to work. I'm gonna have to side with the nationalists to keep my people happy. You made the right oh, so you're a nationalist. Our enemies will be scared of our nuclear program. Alright, I'll side with the nationalists because, honestly, I don't see why you guys are get, not getting along. I mean, you should totally be getting along. Nationalists and socialists, or nationalists and loyalists, just, they work well together. Oh, it requires electricity to operate. I wish I knew that. I would have chosen the other thing. Because I could just build the fucking mausoleum right now. Okay. Well, I'm going to let my economy build up a bit. And that's going to piss off the fucking loyalists to, like, literally... Just hunt by hundreds of degrees. They're going to just start raging. Foaming at the mouth because I didn't build the fucking mausoleum. Because I wanted to build a nuke instead. Here they go, I can hear it in the background already. Foaming at the mouth, what I fucking tell you? Fucking hell. Here, f I can already hear I don't even know what he said. But I'm gonna make the assumption that it was whiny bitch foaming at the mouth. Because that's typically what happens. Okay, I'm gonna build across the street here some more housing because I think we need that. We are getting close. We're still not in a safe zone, as I would call it, with our financial situation, but we need to fix some of the poverty on this island, which is growing out of control substantially, as you can see. So we do need to fix that, and I'm hoping that our construction projects will help. I don't want to issue conscription. That'll piss absolutely everyone off. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, this garage over here is just getting congested to fuck. We need to build another garage, which is just fantastic. We'll build it across the street from the other one, just right there. There we go. It's as close as we're going to get them to each other, at least. Traffic will become an issue soon. Disaster, President Day. Our only true friends, the Loyalists, are showing signs of doubt in your leadership. Okay, I gotta increase my standing with the Loyalists in order to get them on my side. The Loyalists are at 0%, so we need to... We need to actually go build them a mausoleum and stuff. We are getting close to financial debt 2.0 again. <sighs> we need more ships coming in. We, we literally need more ships coming in. Like, they're just not coming in fast enough to, ho to handle our economy at this point. Here comes one. Thank the fucking, fucking God. Fucking environmentalists has fucked us over so hard. Fucking hate them, man. Fucking environmentalists. The nuclear program is going to cause some issues, but I think we can theoretically fix it. I could build a mausoleum, and that would help, theoretically... But it's just, it's just so expensive. 30,000 fucking dollars. 
If it gets the loyalists back on my side, it might have to be a thing, though. We can build it right here next to the church, theoretically. Um, Christ the Savior. Oh, we could have had Christ the Savior looking at our mausoleum whenever it gets built. Screw it. We can't build it on the mausoleum right now. We actually have to spend that all that money that would go to the mausoleum on getting this mission further to completion. And that means building a power plant that can handle a nuclear program which is not going to be easy.